Hello, you guys. Today I am gonna, you know, like uh, tell you something on this topic. Well, something means something. I am gonna tell you something. So, for that instance, I'm gonna take humans and space. This is a pretty interesting topic which I have not covered yet in my series, like space series. So, today I thought I'd try a new book for a new video. Okay, so, uh, well, this topic is humans in space. Mm, well, this topic is new to you guys. So, I am just gonna make this like little introductory video. There's gonna be nothing like uh, basic. There's gonna be just basics, the main points of humans in space in this video. It's gonna be pretty short but full of information. So, yeah, let's go. Well, today... We're going to see this page. I'm going to uh, read and explain it. This is going to be pretty fun. Okay, so let's go. The idea of humans in space refers to, well, let's say human spaceflight. And, you know, the thing is, it is not limited to it. Over the past century, like a hundred years, humans have made like big, big discoveries, like vast uh, discoveries and progress in various fields of science. Well, that as a result for that, uh, we have not only been able to, you know, like uh, know much about space or like send artificial satellites there, uh, but we have. Uh, you know, we humans ourselves have went to space. Like, uh, we have not only been able to observe space, but actually leave Earth's atmosphere and enter the dark, black, and empty space. You know, space really not empty. It is full of knowledge, information, and the things that we don't quite know yet which we are tempting to find today too yeah over the 50 years over the past 50 years hundreds of artificial satellites have you know like been sent to space they uh, they are just machines but humans have been there too humans have also entered space to a previously like unheard of extent over like the past uh, few years it has been uh, it has been like a very little um, like excitement about space why because we already know so much uh, so much of it but I think we shouldn't get down the excitement because you might never know what you might find like at every second so yeah you know, however, the, uh, the field of uh, space exploration is still on its infancy. Just like I told you, never stop getting excited when the matter is about humans in space. Now, what do you get from this information? What you get is that uh, first, like uh, before, before a hundred years, humans were here and the space was here like the knowledge these two subjects were like uh, a similar poles of magnet that's it right similar poles of magnets uh, like uh, they don't get attracted but uh, the other sides do yeah so uh, they are like the similar magnets they were like now they are like the opposite sides we know already like so much about space but we can never get the uh, get the excitement down why because we can do so much better than already what is done i mean who knows which planet will discover or uh, where animal uh, sorry aliens live we might never ever know when we're going to find all the answers to this, uh, qu these questions, queries, information. So at last of this video, I'm going to uh, see this is behind. This is the earth. This, uh, this is the astronaut. This is a suit of uh, the astronaut when he's, he, she is entering the space. And this is, well, see, there's another astronaut. And there is, I think this is the ISS, International Space Station. 
so yeah see uh, this this diagram this photo is labeled as astronauts in outer space leave their shuttles for repair uh, or experimentation during a space walk a space walk uh-huh so this was so much fun right when when i'll get into the next video i will tell you like we'll get deeper and deeper into this topic humans and space i had fun you had fun everybody needs a win-win bye